Hey guys, did you free claim your Bitcoin? Because you could have claimed for free hex. You could have got 15,840 hex for every Bitcoin that you had. And then you were forced to stake them for a year. So you would have been forced to experience the big payday, which gave you an extra 30%, no matter what, like regardless, even more actually. And then uh, it was 30% if you staked for a day, but since you were minimum staked for a year, if you're a free claimer, you got even more. And so you've got 15,840 plus your interest, plus your 30% big payday. So you're looking at like, you know, 20,000 hex per Bitcoin. It's a lot, it's a lot. So, I mean, let's go look at hex price right now. Hex USD. So hex right now is sitting at 21 cents. So let's take 15,840. Let's say it was 40% or 45% because you got basic interest plus your big payday. So you're at 23,000 times uh, 0.21. You're at five grand free money on every Bitcoin. 48.23 to be exact. And the price now is 42.28. So let's do the division. 42.228. It's a 12% increase on your Bitcoin right there. And this is at this price after a 66% dip. So if we were back now at, uh, I think this will work times 0.56 over 0.21, you would have got 30% on your Bitcoin. Assuming that little math trick I just did works to, to calculate what the price would have been at the top. So <clears throat> had you free claimed your Bitcoin on day one, self-referred yourself, and then sold three months ago, you would have increased your Bitcoin stack 30% for free. And Bitcoin went up. So if you didn't free claim your Bitcoin, when I broke my balls to give you free hex exclusively, only you, free hex, and you didn't free claim it, you're an idiot. You should feel terrible. I yelled and I screamed and I did everything I could to give you the free money. And now these people that I've given millions and millions of dollars of free money to, they talk trash on Twitter. So I got to slap them around. Sorry, guys. You lost. We won. I gave away free money. I raised $27 million for charity. You guys ain't doing none of that. Crazy. Crazy to me. And I love to, I just love to slam these Bitcoin boys around because <clears throat> they act like they're hot stuff, right? Chart sucks. Most people are losing money that bought it over the last year. Price performance sucks. Roadmap sucks. Uh, what do you got? You got NFTs on there? No. You got on-chain exchange? No. You got stable coins? No. You got time deposit? Hex? No. What do you got? You got software that's got two functions. Mine inflation and destroy the environment. Or send inflation that's been mined. It's only two functions you got. It's trash. You know? And then I hear stupid things like, oh, Bitcoin incentivizes. Even though Bitcoin destroys the environment with 25% of its use. Optimistically. It's probably much more than 25%. But let's say optimistically, Bitcoin uses 75% renewable energy. 25% of that blows up the environment. Well, first of all, the amount of, the amount of environmental destruction is directly proportional or nearly directly proportional to the value that's being protected on the network. So right now, as of today, Bitcoin's worth $800 billion market cap. <clears throat> and the higher that market cap goes, the more energy will be used to, quote, mine that resource. So the higher the Bitcoin price goes, the more environmental destruction you get. So if the price goes up 4x, you're going to have four times roughly the destruction that you'll have now. Now, it's... <laughs> and increases in mining efficiency don't help that because people just increase the amount that they hash with the extra efficiency because the economic law is that the amount of resources exp expended to mine a resource will trend towards the value of the resource. So if you can mine a dollar for 50 cents, you do it, you're up 50 cents. If you can mine a dollar for 99 cents, you do it because you're up a cent. And so if you get more efficient machines, everyone just piles on the extra mining hash rate and it all cancels out and you have the same amount of destruction because your, your destruction is based on dollars, not on, on hash. Furthermore, people that say that like, 
<clears throat> price is based on hash rate. You're like, okay, well then why does the price dip 85% every few years? Hash rate just keeps going up, right? So hash rate is a lagging indicator like Google Trends. It's not a leading indicator. It happens after the fact. So it's, it's good. Hash rate goes up. Oh, great. I guess the price went up. Oh, Google searches went up. Oh, I guess the price went up, right? It's not a useful indicator. 